loves welcome back to my channel and back to another vlog I haven't done a vlog in a minute like it's been quite some time but currently right now this vlog is gonna be a New York vlog I am in New York for 48 hours two days yeah really I guess like two and a half days, but two full days I will be here and I'm actually working. But what's great about this trip is that today is Monday and I have all day to myself. Most of the day tomorrow because I only have to work in the evening and then a little bit of time in the morning on Wednesday before my flight. So it's kind of like perfect and I'm alone. So I needed this like... It's a work trip, but it's a work trip that I actually needed because I feel like, in a sense, I can kind of unplug, explore, and then my husband is out of town too. So it's really kind of like the perfect opportunity to just be alone, even though I'm working. I know it sounds weird, but if you get it, you get it. So I'm going to show you guys the view and the room. The Hoyxton Hotel, I'm in Brooklyn. I love it. I haven't stayed in Brooklyn since my very first time in New York, which was which was probably in like 2010. So, like 12 years ago. Yeah, because every other time that I've come, I've either stayed in Queens or in Manhattan. A couple of times I stayed in Jersey. I guess that wouldn't really count. But I haven't stayed in Brooklyn since my very first time ever here. So super nostalgic. And the first time I came to New York, I stayed at a hotel on Adams Street. I can't even remember the name of the hotel. But it was literally right across the street from the Brooklyn Bridge. And I walked the Brooklyn Bridge. So that was just like a whole experience for me. So let me show you the room really quickly. I've only been here maybe about... An hour or two like my flight landed at noon and I've been at the hotel since just got me some coffee well a matcha but it's almost done room I've already kind of like unpacked my stuff but when you come in there's like hanging hooks here I love this wood floor I don't think it's real wood but I do like the color of it this is the door to the bathroom which is just super cute and this door is really heavy and then inside of the bathroom okay so here's the inside of the bathroom it is stunning I love like the black penny towel on the floor the subway towel and look at the sink look at the sink marble I love this I feel like I've stayed at a couple of hotels in New York that kind of have this vibe and I love it. So I've kind of like slightly unpacked. These are the two scents that I brought and this new Gucci lipstick. I have two other Gucci lipsticks, but Hilo Lux posted this one in Penny Beige that's like a nude and I had to get it immediately and I did. It's so beautiful. So shout out to her for that. I got the new nails. I'm entering my villain era. So I've been super into chrome nails, for sure. Cute little tie rack. And then there's a full length mirror right here so you can actually see the entire room. And you can see like a full body shot. I didn't even realize there were drawers under the bed. I guess if you were doing like a longer stay, that would be nice. And then, let me come around here. I picked up this Rolling Stone with Megan Thee Stallion at the airport, again villain here y'all see it i don't know what it is about me and green but i love it so yeah here is an overview of the room the ceilings are super high with this beautiful light fixture the doorway the tv another little shelf with my telfizi i brought my white telfizi and my tan one this is like a study area so like a desk coffee nook type of situation and then on this side there's like an open closet which I think is really really cute a little bit of hanging space that you need I hung up the sweater that I wore at the on my flight and it is from a black owned brand 
are they based in New York? I don't know, but I wore this one. I'll try to show you guys like a better clip of it. It's green. It's like this varsity style vibe with the off white, another black on. I gotta do some work. And then look at the view. Get into the view from my window. It is so freaking stunning. Like I could just sit here. When I first walked into the room, I just sit here and enjoyed the view. Cause I was like, this is insane. So pretty. And these guys are actually painting a mural right here, right across the street. I could also just sit there and watch them paint this mural. So yeah, I'm in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Super cute hotel. I really, really like this hotel. I'm actually here to speak on a panel. It's a private event though. So, cause one of my friends is here in Brooklyn. She came to see me in Houston. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna meet up with her tomorrow. We better meet up. I'm gonna text her too and tell her that I'm here. But um, she was actually asking me like, hey, could she come? And they told me that it was private. So I'm gonna be in an article magazine, The Coveter. And I'm also going to be speaking on the panel. So all of that is going to launch on my Instagram tomorrow. Yeah, on Tuesday. Tuesday morning and the panel is tomorrow night. So honestly, y'all have no words for this entire opportunity because I'm here literally because I posted about my breast implants. So I'm actually here with the company that... I have implants in so they're in my body um, and I'm here for a body positivity panel and basically kind of like my journey with plastic surgery which you guys have already seen because I shared that journey in 2020 because that's when I got them done like COVID I actually made the decision during COVID to get them done and I got them done in 2020 and I shared their journey with you guys on YouTube um I documented everything and so I guess that was how they found me um from sharing that journey which is insane because at this point now my implants have basically paid for themselves and if you've seen any of my videos about them then you already know I love them I would do it again and again like I have zero regrets like none whatsoever I didn't have any complications no revisions nothing like no pain no like nothing nothing happened to me I literally kind of have like the um I guess you could say ideal story so because a lot of people will hit me up and they'll ask like have you had complications? Have you had to go for revisions? Have you had this happen? What's your update? It's been almost two years for you. And I'm like, everything's great. Like, it's normal to me now. It doesn't, um, it doesn't feel like I got implants. It feels like I got the body that I was supposed to have. Or, I guess I don't want to say that because the body that I had was, was the body that I was supposed to have. But it just, it just feels like they're a part of me it doesn't feel any different so anyways i need to before i get to rambling and kind of get more into this i actually need to do some work because i need to turn in some things and i need to find something to eat and figure out like what i'm gonna do today i want to do like a little bit of shopping but i i kind of want to do like boutiques so like smaller places and i really just want to walk i want to be outside so i'm gonna do that and then we're not doing and working we're not doing nothing else nothing major so i'll check back in a little later after i get this work done the work is already done i just need to submit it like turn it in to the brand for approval and i need to post so i'm gonna do both of those things and i'll check back in once i figure out what the rest of the day is gonna be <laughs>
right, so I am back. I found like a little barbecue spot around the way and it was really good. And I just kind of got like a light meal. I mean, it was really, really good. They had the sliders on Hawaiian buns. So good. So that was like satisfying, you know, and I didn't feel like heavy because I knew that I wanted to walk. And so I talked to my friend that lives here um, that I was going to meet up with tomorrow. Are those bananas on the tree? No. When I talked to her, she was basically telling me that there was like cute shops over here, like within walking distance. She also was like, you can go into Manhattan and go to Soho. And I was like, no, that's not the vibe we own. That's not what we doing. Like, I can't deal with the hustle and bustle, the people on top of people. Like, I just can't. I don't, I don't feel like it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't. I don't. And to be honest, y'all, New York is not one of my favorite places to be. It's probably very low. I don't hate it, but I don't, like, like it. So far, I'm enjoying Brooklyn, though. This area is really nice. It's quiet. There's people out, but it's not busy. So, I'm liking it. So, after I ate, I did just walk, and I found so many shops i went into probably like 10 shops 10 15 shops just walking i ended up walking for like two hours so good so i might kind of quickly go through what i got but it's not like a whole lot like i got little knickknacks little things that are kind of like fun interesting or things that i feel like oh they would remind me of this trip kind of like sentimental pieces and because i'm very very into scents right now Berry. I feel like when I had COVID, I lost my sense of smell. And I feel like since then, I wear perfume every single day. And I am heavily into new scents, different scents, perfumes, all of the things. So I bought a scent. That is probably the most exciting purchase that I got. The sun is super bright right now, but low key, it is so beautiful. So let me show y'all real quick. A couple of the things that I got. These little like earrings. I have these in a larger version, but I just thought that they would be really cute to double hoop. I got these yellow short shorts from a thrift store. Very cute. I forgot which ones I went into because I went into quite a few of them. So if the name is on the tag, then you'll be able to see which one exactly it is. I also went into a store called Shoes and I got these black sandals. I don't have not one pair of black strappy kind of like basic sandals or a nude pair of stretchy like not stretchy but kind of like basic sandals. So when I saw these I was like okay these are perfect. They are by some Spanish designer but I told her to throw away the box because I'm not packing it. Like, I just need the shoes. Look at these shorts. They're made out of, did she say Korean? Flower, of flower bags? I'm going to show y'all, but basically these are made out of like, yeah, flower. The flower bags, the wheat flower bags. Um, The bags, I thought these were super cute. And then here is the perfume brand that was, it was expensive, but I think she worked it. I'm going to show y'all this in the bathroom or something. But yeah, this is what I purchased. I feel like it's just an assortment of things that kind of like make me happy in a, in a sense. Like these are super cool. They have this sporty vibe, but they're unique because they're made out of this flower bag definitely like one of a kind she did say that this was gonna bleed though so that i had to be careful with it um this brand of perfumes is super dope like i'm gonna insert a clip in the store because it's so pretty these are the heels that i got i love the caging like detail on them like could you imagine even like this with the heels and like a cute crop top that would be cute 
and they're not that high. This is the brand of them. They fly though. These shorts, which are from Monk, that was what it was. The name of the thrift store. And then the earrings. This it. Okay, here's the scent. So cute. So it's Notorious Oud. I and here she is. I'm about to spray it low key. Ooh, it smells so good. Look at her looking all cute. And my sponge from DSMD, black on brand. That is literally hands down one of the best makeup sponges ever. like 11 at night but i had a really good time tonight i ended up i told y'all my friend was coming she came and we went and ate at bedford it was good the mac and cheese burger wasn't great not gonna lie it wasn't chef's kiss at all but the brussels sprouts were good the drinks were good i had a lavender margarita and Two glasses of Prosecco, but the second glass he gave me for free. And what else did I have? Ooh, oysters. We had raw, raw oysters, and they were so, so, so good. So, anyways, it's late, so I'm going to go ahead and get out these clothes, go to bed. Cheers to a good day in New York. It was chill, but it was a really, really good day, and I got all of my work done, so... I'm prepared and in terms of the panel tomorrow they just sent me the final list of questions so I would likely go over that before I go to bed too just to kind of like make sure you know that's it I'm also gonna like try to like freshen up my edges I've had in these knotless braids for a week and a half and to me they are they're loose and they're looking a little bit, not raggedy, but they're looking like very natural. Like all of my roots have waved back up, but it is what it is. I still think that it's really cute. And even tomorrow, so I did, I didn't show this, but I ended up curling the ends. So I just rolled them and dipped them in hot water. And I do feel like that really refreshed the braids. Like I do feel like it... You know, it added like a little bit more to them, but I think that tomorrow for the panel, if I don't actually style them, then what I think I might do is add in the gold hoops like down the front of this braid. And then tomorrow after the panel, I'm going to be meeting up with my girl again and we're going to go to a newer restaurant that she hasn't been to and that I haven't been to either. The restaurant that she took me to tonight, we only went because I didn't realize that the rooftop. So there, there's a rooftop restaurant here, but it's not actually like technically associated with the hotel. So you still have to like make reservations, do all of the things. And it was full, completely packed. So anyways, maybe we just didn't need to be there. So we had a good night anyway. So Tomorrow we actually have reservations that she made. I am tired but not tired. So I'll just see you guys tomorrow.
Hi loves, welcome to day two of the vlog. This is my second day in Brooklyn. It's already like me a day. Crazy part about it is I've been up since like 7 here. 7, 7 a.m. I just kind of like laid in the bed, chilled, did a little bit of work, scrolled on TikTok. Like I enjoyed my morning. I ended up, I had two meetings this morning and I had to post today for the event that's later tonight even though it's a private panel i posted like the article that they did of me all of that um today so that was really cool just to even just kind of go through that process i also went to a coffee shop a little bit earlier and then i just kind of like walked around and took some pictures in the fit because the fit was the fit is fitting i'm gonna try to go in the hallway because our hallway here is really cute and do like just a video in case I ever want to do a reel, which I think I am because why not? Like it'll be easy to do. Um, but I was supposed to go to the Brooklyn Museum today. Well, that's what I wanted to do because Virgil is has an exhibit there, but it's closed. It's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, and. Every other day that it's open, it doesn't open until 11. And my flight leaves like midday tomorrow, so I won't have time to actually go. Like if they open at like 9, I could go. I could go. I could be back here at like 11.30, go to the airport, get on my flight and be gone. But 11 is just way too late for the time that my flight leaves. Luckily, LaGuardia is not far. And it is... I guess I kind of finished with the renovation, so it looks so nice. But I did see that TSA line when I flew in, and it was long. I do have pre-check, so hopefully it won't be bad. Like I could just breeze through like I normally like I normally do. But I don't know, and I ain't taking no chances. Um, so I think that tomorrow I'm probably just gonna have like a super chill day too. Like. Oh, that's cute bag. Mm. And then another thing is like outside is like crazy because for it seems like they're filming something big. It's like production studios and trailers everywhere. Like I walked probably like five blocks in every direction and they are everywhere. It literally everywhere. Because I was like, it's a whole lot more people outside today than what it was yesterday. At the same time. So that was interesting. But um, I'm going to order room service just to like make it easy, I guess, for me while I get dressed for tonight's panel. I do have, and it's literally just right down the street. Um, so I'm just going to walk. I think it's like three blocks. So I don't see why not. I'm like, I'm just going to walk over to get to the panel. This is what I'm thinking. I showed y'all this sweater yesterday from a black owned brand so i'll literally just insert the clip that i record on the side so that you can actually see the entire fit this little crop top that i have on is old it's from zara like years ago it is denim and it's actually more yellow but when you put it up against cream it pulls more cream but it's not cream it's like a light yellow and then the pants that i have are from this guy on TikTok. So I'm just going to tag him because I just randomly found his TikToks and fell in love with him because he does so many TikToks with his mom. And it's just like a vibe. It always makes me happy to look at the TikToks like his mom dresses him um, and like rates bags. They just do a lot of like little cute stuff at home together. So this is like an Australian made brand for the pants so I'll leave like his tag on the screen and I brought my off-white Virgil dunks that are old or they're like two years old two or three years old so I brought those because they just went with the fit and the vibe I haven't figured out what I'm gonna wear so I have two outfit options a Ghani skirt and like a Jacquemus top or this um kai collective dress but i think i'm gonna go with the ghani fit because that was my original fit and i just i feel like i'll be a lot more comfortable in that especially sitting on a panel um 
And yeah, after that, I'm supposed to meet back up with my friend and we're going to go out tonight. So maybe, maybe I can change really quickly, put on my kind collective dress and then go out with her. So that might be the vibe. So at least I can get like multiple fits in throughout the day because I haven't worn any of these pieces yet except for the Jacquemus top. So yeah, let me show y'all real quick too. And the restaurant that we're going to tonight, it seems like it's really nice. So, yeah, this is a dress, but it is completely mesh. So cute. But the panel is about body positivity. So, you know, it could be a vibe. And I had just bought this mango hat just to, like, pair, like, sexy with, like, rugged. And I was gonna wear or like street style you know to kind of like have that contrast dressing and i was still gonna wear sneakers with this because these are the only pair of heels that i brought and i mainly just brought them because i needed to shoot a campaign for nordstrom rack in those which i did yesterday so yeah and they are cute they're comfortable and i love that lucite heel on those and then this is the Ghani skirt that I also got off Nordstrom Rack. I'm going to link it because I don't know how long it's going to be available, but it is a vibe. And look at like the plaid in it is so pretty. So when I take a shower, I need to let that steam in the shower. And then this Jacquemus bodysuit, the whole back is out and it just has like this cute clasp. And then... I didn't even realize this was like this. So it's like pockets here too, like panel pockets. I did not realize that was like that. Hmm. So cute. So, and it zips all the way up the top. So in the front, it's not going to give that much, but the skirt will give. And then in the back, it's like bow, bow, bow. So yeah, I think this is going to be really cute. And the venue... I looked up the venue and the venue is the vibe. So I'm going to definitely try to bring my camera in there and get like some behind the scenes footage. I, I really do need to ask so because it is private, but I, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. I'm going to, you know what I'll do? I'll do it first and then wait for them to tell me that I can't do it. That's what I'm going to do. So yeah, let me just step out real quick. Do this video of my fit. And then I'll check back in when it's time to like do my makeup and eat and all of that. Because I have about two hours. So I'm going to get dressed so I can enjoy and get dressed slowly and do everything that I need to do. Like my edges, all of that.
so I am ready. I have 20 minutes, but it says that it's a three minute walk, so I should be good. Ciao. It be so much going on. I swear it do. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep the jewelry kind of simple. I have on like double hoops, not really though. Double hoops, I'm gonna stack like a couple of bracelets. One of these cuffs is from Daniel Wellington from like seven, eight years ago when they used to do like a lot of, or sent out like a lot of influencer watches. I kept this cuff, it's so cute. And it hasn't like tarnished or like really faded. It's old too. My best friend got me this bracelet from Mexico. Was she in Mexico? I think she was in Mexico. And then I got this bracelet from a local vendor in Texas along with the earrings. And then I also have on my Monica Venator earrings. I have some new ones. And I'm going to leave those linked because the I wear so much of that jewelry because it's so good. Yes, it is expensive and it's not solid gold. At least not most of it is. But it just... It does something to me like it, it works and it doesn't irritate most of it is like vermeil so I just bought the little pouch and I have these earrings too that are like textured hoops so if I had a third hole I would literally stack all three of these I think I'm gonna give me a third hole too when I get back to Houston and the heels love this I love this, this is gonna be too cute and then I'm going to take this Brandon Blackwood bag, the N, was this Brandon Blackwood? Yes. Was it? In Systematic Racism. And this one is like blue and it's a lizard. So it's a different color blue, but I feel like it pops enough. And this camera will fit inside of this bag. So I think that I have everything. I might even try to bring my small tripod. Let me see if it fits. It's too long. It's too long. That's okay, though. I think that I'll be okay without it. So, I'm going to go. Wish me luck, even though you guys won't see this until after. Just wish me well in, in general. Wish me well in life, you know? My battery is literally just about to die, so I just kind of wanted to end out tonight because tonight was amazing. We went to Fandi Mata. So good. The vibes were good. 10 out of 10. I will recommend. So, like, I'll insert kind of, like, what it looked like. It is very dark and sexy in there, but it's Mediterranean, and it's just beautiful. Like, everything about it. The drinks, the food. I had the Branzino, and I had, like, a shrimp small plate. We also had the watermelon salad. 
we had like five or six things and the drink that i got was the grass is greener and it was so good it was mezcal but it wasn't super smoky so i love that but yes 10 out of 10 it's like after midnight um it's 12 19 and i cracked my phone which i don't know how that happened so i'm gonna try to get it fixed like pretty much as soon as i get back home because i have to use my phone for work so i just wanted to close out the evening good times good vibes the panel was amazing too it went so well but it went by so quickly so i'll see you guys in the morning for breakfast and to head out because i leave tomorrow and this is what i changed into also i can't remember i showed it earlier but oh look at my food baby and underneath these Kai Collective dresses, because they're mesh, I wear the Skims bodysuits. So you can either wear the thong one, you can wear the panty one, or the one with the, the thighs. But I prefer like the thong one or the panty one, because sometimes you can see the, the thigh line and it rolls. You don't want that, but that's it. Just a little quick tip. I'll leave it linked.